Dating Explorers here. I've been here before, but it was warm and we couldn't see much smoke. We're going to go see an untreated mine fire. It's only 40 degrees out. Actually, it's gorgeous. Great day for a walk. And we're going to go to this mine fire. Maybe we'll be able to see more spots, be able to see more smoke because it's colder. Come on, let's go. It's a lot more snow and ice here than I thought there would be. Because uh, driving here, <laughs> there wasn't that much at all, but wow, look at this. I have to walk carefully. I don't want to fall. We have another maybe, maybe half mile to go, but it's a pretty easy walk. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere. And what have we? TVs and junk. And a mattress, it looks like. Oh, well, let's continue on. Wow. I really did not expect to see this much snow. I mean... It had been warm last week, and a lot of the snow in Hazy melted. Hazelton. This isn't that far from Hazelton. It's actually south of Hazelton, so I expected to see less. But that's okay. I'll just watch my step as we go. Okay. Here's a nice big hole in the ground. I don't see or smell anything, and I don't see any melted spots of snow. So this part clearly is not emitting any smoke from the coal fire. So let's go down farther a bit. Okay, we just walked a little farther. Now this is farther down on that big gouged hole. You can see there's no snow down here, which is strange. There should be, because there was up there just a bit. This tells me the ground is warmer. So, I mean, look, it's all in the shade. There should be snow, but there's not. The ground is definitely warmer than it was up there. Let's keep going. I think we're almost here. And look what we found. Look, smoke. That walk wasn't bad, but I'm huffing and puffing a bit. Well, looky, looky. Huh. I'm not going to go down in there like I did last time, but I'm going to go around the other side. Get a better view. Yeah, baby. That's, look at that. Holy crap. Yeah, of course. You walk around and the smoke follows you. Jeez. Oh, looky there. Huh. This fire, actually, according to certain sources, started back in the 1850s couple miles east of here. Um, they tried to put it out. They thought they put it out. And then around 1900, they started seeing smoke closer to this spot. So they tried to put it out. Drilled some holes, filled it with comb. They thought they put it out. And in the 1950s, they admitted there was a coal fire and they tried to put it out but they didn't succeed <clears throat> and they determined that um, it was safe it was surrounded by a water table and it wasn't going to go anywhere I don't know about that what do you think 
I see smoke coming out of the ground over here. Just little wisps. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little hole there. There's smoke over there too. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. Just little wisps. And these holes. Last time I was here, there were only two holes. Now there's three. We're sinking in, caving in. Oh gosh. Yeah. I don't have one of those uh, point thermometer things. But I'm sure this is hot. I mean, it's fire underground. It's hot. Look at that hole. Huh. Isn't that something? Not a whole lot of... Oh yeah, you can smell it. Not a whole lot of smoke coming out of there, but... Let's see. I can find a stick. Push those leaves away. Hold on. Let me see. Yep, that's a nice little hole there. Let's see if I can find any more. There's another pit. <clears throat> that one's deep. I would say that's at least 50 feet deep. And it's not an easy climb down there. Minimal snow. The ground is warm underneath. That tells me. Hmm. Wow. Okay, I will say this. That hole is bigger than it was last time I was here. You see that? Smoke coming out here. Smoke coming out there. It's bigger. To me, that's not good. There we go. Smoky. Well, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a nice walk. Got to see a little bit. I was hoping to find more, but that's okay. Maybe next time. Hope to see you soon. Peace, baby.